This vehicle is a night and day restoration difference from where it came in. How's it going? It's Lewis Fair back with Aesthetic Detail Studio once again. In the shop today, we got this 1979 classic original Mercedes-Benz 450 SL with the removable top. It has the removable top, you can remove it. This is in the shop because we are doing quite a bit of restoration work on this. Today, our PDR guy will be coming by to pick up the vehicle. He will be going around every panel on the vehicle and removing all of the defined dents because there are a lot of defined dents. We got this one up here on the roof. We got something poking through dents on all of the fenders, the quarter panels, the door, a couple little dents on the roof we're gonna get taken care of. And we're gonna get all of the panels back as flat as we can get them. Once it's done at the PDR shop, it's gonna come back in the shop. We're gonna do our pH safe prep wash, iron decon, clay bar. And then we're gonna complete a two-step heavy duty paint correction on this thing. Um, there are a lot of areas that see heavy scratches that are heavily scratched with this being well over 20 years old. This thing has never seen a paint correction so therefore it is gonna need quite a bit of work to get the most amount of shine and gloss that we can get out of this finish. I do know that once it's done and once we put two stages of correction into it, the red on this vehicle will turn out a lot better than the state that it's currently in. Once we get everything corrected out, glossified, we are gonna install Fine Lab ceramic light, one year ceramic coating. Due to with this being an older paint, we really don't wanna install nothing with too many solvents or an extremely high solvent based ceramic coating as we don't wanna cause any damage to that paint that is left on this vehicle as it is an original paint job. So we're gonna go with the option that we know is gonna be safe and it's gonna give it the protection that the ceramic coating is gonna offer and give it some nice durability as long as we take care and maintain the finish. Also, while it's in the shop, the wheels are gonna go off to our powder coater. They're gonna get refinished back to that original um, aluminum, powdered aluminum look that they were from the Mercedes factory so that we can get this whole project brung back up to a standard so that the customer can enjoy the vehicle at its best look. When he picks it up and takes it home, we're also gonna go around and restore the front and rear bumpers as they do have that five mile an hour bumper that Mercedes was required to import these with back in the day. So we're gonna go around, clean up all of that trim, get it looking nice and deep dark black again. So let's take some time out to go around the vehicle and get an eye on how this vehicle looks right now before we even begin some of the work. What this one car will need, seeing that it's so old, is we will have to do a paint thickness measurement. What that is, is we go around the entire vehicle with a special gauge, which is gonna take a thickness measurement of all the paint around the vehicle so that we know, as a detailer, how much paint we have to work with, how thick is the clear coat, how thick is that single stage paint, how thick is, the paint that we're correct there, um, if the paint is on the thinner side, then we know that we have to be very careful or very ginger working around the surface of the vehicle so that we don't blow through the paint that's on the surface and have a blaring spot of burn through or primer showing or metal showing or the substrate underneath the paint showing. We're back inside the shop here at ADS. We still have the 1979 Mercedes 450 SL. We have progressed quite a ways on this vehicle since the last time we've talked. The last time you saw us, we took the paint measurements and essentially prepped this vehicle for the correction portions of this detail. We've come to find out that the main body of this vehicle has been resprayed. So the roof, which is completely removable from this model of Mercedes is still the factory original red that was sprayed on this vehicle in 1979 when it was built. The paint that's on the rest of the body of this vehicle is a respray which happens to be a different color red than what the roof is in the factory color. So with that being said, this paint is a lot thinner and there are some defects that unfortunately we did have to leave on the vehicle because we just didn't have the paint thickness there to continue to chase them out 
without running into blowing through the paint, burning through the paint, sanding through the paint, and leaving a spot where there was no more red there or it would be very discolored or look like a defect. But for what we do have, we were able to deliver a level of correction that I believe this 1979 can appreciate, especially being a vehicle that's still gonna be driven used on a road and enjoyed by the owner of this vehicle. So far, we've knocked out the two-step correction. As you can see, the roof is off. It has this bonnet, so we've polished out. Essentially, all of the paint has been two-step, essentially a three-step. I did a first cut and pass with the lamb's wool, a lighter wool with Meguiar's M100. I did a follow-up cutting pass with foam using Meguiar's M101 foam cut compound to knock down those scratches from my heavy cutting with the rotary and the wool. And then I came back and I finished down with the Roots DA Fine yellow polishing, cutting fluid, and a orange Lake Country cutting pad, polishing pad. From that, we have the wheels off the vehicle as those are off at powder coated. We get we got those being repowder coated to the factory original silver aluminum-ish color that they were. So we got the caps and the wheels off at powder coat. Those should be back later on in the day. We're currently working on polishing up some of this chrome trim around the vehicle and getting that back shiny and glossed up, as well as restoring these black trim pieces around the vehicle as you can kind of see from a before and after we haven't touched these side trim bits but this is how it looked you know since 1979 this is the original trim and then this is how it will be after we put a little bit of work into it and do some restoration and get those black dyes and pigments back embedded inside the surface of that plastic trim unfortunately there's not much we can do about this scuff we're going to mess with that a little bit more but that scuff is pretty deep into this plastic piece of trim and the owner is replacing this. So also we're gonna be doing some touch up work around the vehicle. Uh, when it first came in, it went off to our PDR guy. So he went around all around the vehicle and corrected out a lot of the defined dents that were on the surface of the vehicle. Um, up here on the roof, we had a really nasty dent that stuck upwards. He got that back flat. Um, also along these side panels, we have quite a few areas where he pulled the dents out and got these looking smooth. He took the gas door off and sent that to my paint guy. He custom mixed up me a fresh batch of touch-up paint for this vehicle, which I will be using to do all of the touch-up work. We do have a professional painter who we use, have him come in to paint things fix things, he's a great custom fabricator, does masterful paint work. He whips up all of my touch up paint for me so that I got a spot on match whenever we're doing touch up work. Still gotta do a little bit of cleaning up on the engine bay. We gotta get the wheels back, reinstall those, get the vehicle dropped down, do the touch up work on the paint. We have to do the final prep wipe on the paint to clean it and prep it for the ceramic coating. And that gave us the gloss that we needed. Some areas I feel like they could use a little bit of wet sanding, but due to the paint thickness that we do have to work with on this vehicle, wet sanding isn't an option that is safe on this vehicle if we're looking to preserve as much of the paint as we can on this vehicle. A lot of people come here and they say, how perfect can you get our vehicle to look? Well. I can get the vehicle to look as perfect as feasible. Whereas, you know, other people that make promises, oh, we could take every scratch, we could get every defect, we could make your vehicle absolutely perfect. And then in the process of chasing absolute perfection, they end up removing more paint that's needed from the vehicle and end up causing premature paint failure. We don't believe in causing premature paint failure. I correct to improve, not to remove. And if I can remove it safely, then I will more than likely, more than gladly, remove those defects from the surface of your vehicle. But if I cannot safely, as a detailer, remove those defects from your vehicle and leave a safe enough, thick enough buffer of clear coat or paint on the surface of the vehicle, I will improve the appearance of them. I will diminish the appearance of them. I will knock down that sharp edge on that stretch but I can't consciously chase that defect out until it gets to the point where it's gone and now I'm blowing through your clear coat and blowing through the first source of protection for the metals on your vehicle. You have to remember at the end of the day, the paint is there as a form of protection to protect 
the metal of your vehicle from rusting and deterioration and from failing. We just want to keep that paint looking good because that's aesthetically what we're looking at to please us, our eyes. But the paint is there to protect the metal. Welcome back for the final part of this 1979 Mercedes 450SL detail video. As you can see, we finally got it outside. So as you know, that means we've wrapped up this detail. I can't be more happy from the final results from this detail. Um, the paint on this thing was pretty beat when it came in, but these end results show night and day difference of bringing out the color in this red. This red didn't look this red before it came in and received this correction and ceramic coating we installed. Did some PDR work. We refinished the wheels, had those powder coated, got those installed back on the vehicle, restored the trim, polished up all the chrome, ceramic coated the chrome with a metal coat from Dr. Beasley's. Went around all of the plastics, got those restored and looking good. This vehicle is a night and day restoration difference from where it came in. We had a lot of fun doing this project considering this is probably the first single stage vehicle we've had in the shop since we've been open. So it's exciting to have our first single stage detail project completed and ceramic coated with great success. So now that they've been corrected and ceramic coated, those reds kind of came in and blend a little bit better together. The gloss on the two kind of shine a lot better together and they kind of match a lot more. So when he is riding this round with the top on it, the colors match a lot better than what they did before. We touched up a few areas and we went around the vehicle, went over those touch up spots to try and bring those touch up areas a little bit closer to the color that they're supposed to be. I gotta say, I am pretty excited to have this one done. I can't wait till the customer sees been here for the past week and a half while all the various parts of everything were in the various stages of the detail, but we've wrapped it up and we're moving into the delivery stage of this detail. So hopefully you enjoy the shots that my wonderful photographer here is gonna record and take for us. And uh, thank you guys for tuning in to the Art of Detailing once again. We appreciate all of you for tuning in every time we drop a fresh video. Still kind of new to this, but we're getting better and better as we go on. Clean, restore, correct, protect, the motto here at the Art of Detailer Aesthetic Detail Studio. I'm Louis Fetter, owner once again, and thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe to this video if you enjoy what you've seen. We'll see you next time.